My name is Jimmy. What's up, you guys? Jimmy here, back at you with yet another review for Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2. And this is the third episode. And the episode is titled Making Friends and Influencing People. Now, in this episode, we find out the answer to probably one of the questions that some of us are asking. What happened to Simmons? Well, we find out that she is a scientist for Hydra now. But we later find out after her and um, Coulson meet up in her apartment that she actually undercover so they can have a little bit of an edge over Hydra. You know, and they also bring up that she's a terrible liar. So, yeah, this could turn bad in one way. But, um, we also find out that um, Hydra is uh, interested in bringing in Donnie Gill, which uh, Donnie Gill was one of those um, one of those students from uh, the Shield Academy that we haven't seen ever since season the first season, and it was episode eleven, I believe. It was titled Seeds, so it's been quite a while since the last time we saw Donnie Gill. And Hydra is actually calling him Lizard, which, for those of you who don't read co who are familiar with comics, Lizard is a super villain. I believe he's an Iron Man villain, but, you know, this is their cinematic universe's own thing. But um, eventually, Coulson and the other agents find out, so it's kind of like a race to find out who's going to get him as an ally. Come to find out, thanks to Ward, he was actually pro had some programming done. So that means if you say a certain, a certain set of words, that person's programming will trigger. I've, say, I've, I've heard about this before being done. So, uh, yeah. So eventually, since his programming was eventually triggered, they uh, had to, uh, Sky had to pretty much uh, neutralize him. But she doesn't kill him. She makes him fall in the water, which causes his powers to make him freeze himself into solid ice. Not like how the others were. It was like, it was more like I, he was in an ice-like cocoon, you yeah. know, but, uh, you know, also in the episode, you get to kind of see a little bit of a confrontation between Fitz and Ward, you know, Fitz kind of wanting some payback because it's because of Ward, why um, he has uh, problems with his, uh, why he has the problems in his uh, brain because of that lack of oxygen uh, that he had uh, when, he, when Ward dumped him and Simmons in the water, pretty much. Yeah. And um, at the very end of the episode, um, Ward finally is able to tell Skye that her father is alive and that he is looking for her. You know, and uh, she, you can see she's very... She got real worked up and stressed about that. And that's pretty much it on the episode. Uh, to be honest, I think whatever Sky's father wants, I just have the gut feeling that it's not a good thing. That's what I choose to believe. But um, this was another uh, very interesting episode. You know, bringing in another supervillain from the comics. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm almost going to give this season the nickname The Season of Supervillains because in the first two episodes, we saw Power Man. In this episode, we saw Blizzard. And, you know, I'm predict I've already predicted um, of uh, Graviton making an appearance because of what happened to that guy in the first season. That's when I I literally called it. Like, Graviton's coming. Coulson created him. 
great job, Kelsey. You created the super villain. But, um, you know, definitely looking forward to that. I really hope it happens in this season. Because uh, you probably want to get some payback on Coulson himself. But uh, this episode was interesting because it kind of solved one of the mysteries I was kind of wondering since the premiere. Because, I mean, what happened to Simmons? I thought she just straight up quit S.H.I.E.L.D. Or she might have been dead. Because I, I was just figuring the dead part because of the fact of Fitz um, pretty much hallucinating her. That's why I was kind of, sort of thinking, you know. And, um, you know, it was uh, very interesting to see Fitz get a little bit of payback on Ward. I mean, he really screwed up Fitz's brain. I mean, he has problem thinking words now. It's almost like, you know, it's, it's like he paused and sort of stutters now. So, yeah, definitely uh, he kind of deserved that and then some. But, uh, well, it's inevitable to know that uh, Sky's father is going to eventually find, find her. There's no doubt about that, otherwise... There wouldn't have been a reason to bring him in for the season. But, um, you know, that's pretty much it for my review. Um, let me know down in the comments below your honest uh, opinions on the episode and your honest opinion on the season, uh, on the season so far. Because, uh, I mean, yeah, it is getting lower ratings, but that first season... You know, that first season was half bad. I have to be honest and say it. It was, the first half was, like, bad. And, you know, you kind of should know that the ratings will go down when you start out bad. You know, and probably there's still people that think it's probably still bad. You know, people are not aware that they've learned from their mistakes this season three episodes in is still better than the first season. I mean, just share the awareness of that. You know, and just let me know down in the comments your thoughts and opinions on the episode. And uh, also, if you're interested in being a part of my review for Arrow, the season three premiere of Arrow, or for the season five premiere of... Um, the Walking Dead, my reviews for those two. Just let me know if you are. And all you need is a Google Plus, and you'll also need a webcam of some sort because this will be a Google Hangout, so it will be a live show type of review. But uh, my name is Jimmy, and until next time, bye.